Alright, so if you've ever played on my Minecraft SMP server, Soracraft SMP, you might have noticed that we have a whole economy there. At spawn you're able to trade in diamonds for money. And with the money you can actually buy stuff at player shops. Now I've already made a tutorial on how to make those player shops. Blink will be in the top right corner right now if you want to check it out. But today we're gonna talk about something else. How do you even get money on your Minecraft server in the first place? Like it's nice and all, trading in diamonds for money and then buying stuff with the money. But how do you get the money in the first place? How do you get money on your server? Well, that's what I'm going to tell you today. At the end of this video, you will know everything about adding money to your Minecraft server and basically setting up an economy. Before we start this tutorial though, I will assume that you've already set up a Minecraft paper or spigot server and that it's completely ready to start installing plugins on. Anyways, before we start, it would really be a ton if you could leave a like in this video and also check if you are subscribed to the channel. Well, it shows me that most people watch my videos are actually not subscribed, even though it would really be a ton you would help me out a lot and you can always unsubscribe in the future if you change your mind what is this render distance though jesus the world looks horrible and then without any further ado let's dive right into it So in today's video I'm going to show you everything you need to know about getting money on your Minecraft server. Of course I'm not talking about real life money, I'm talking about in-game money. So players will kind of have their own in-game bank account and they can sell stuff or do certain things or quests or whatsoever. It's fully up to you the way you want people to be able to earn money. It's also fully up to you the way you want your people to spend the money. So there are many many ways how people can spend money, there are also many ways how people can earn money. That's fully up to you, fully customizable. But first, let's add money to the server. Let's add an economy. So the first thing you wanna do is actually go to the website essentialsx.net. A link will be in the description of this video, of course. Now all you wanna do is go to the downloads button in the top right corner. And after that you will see this page. Now here you have to make a choice between a development build and a stable build. Now first I would always recommend the development build and the reason for that was that the development build supported 1.17 while the stable build only supported 1.16.5. Well, that has changed. The stable build now also supports 1.17 and it's better to have a stable version than a beta version that's practically still in development. So let's just go with the stable release. Here underneath core you will see Essentials X. Just click on the download button. For some reason your PC always thinks that for some reason Essentials is gonna harm your PC. It's not. Just click on keep and there you go. After that you want to open the plugin folder of your server. Now if you're hosting your Minecraft server at a Minecraft server hosting company you will have to go to the FTP files to access your plugins folder. If you're hosting your Minecraft server on your own PC though you can just click on the plugin folder and basically drag essentials x in if you're hosting it online you can just upload the file after that restart your minecraft server join again and now you already see a message you have no new mail that's a good sign if we type slash pl you can see that essentials is actually installed we have essentials on our server and with that comes a whole economy we now have money if we type slash balance you can see we have a balance of zero if we type slash money same thing. There's already money on the server. There's a way to have money now. Every single player, every single username that joins has their own balance, their own bank account. Now of course they can do anything with it yet. They just are able to have money. Now that there's a way to get money in your server, you still need a way to earn money and you need a way to spend money. But before we're going over that, first let's take a quick look at the config. So to access the config file, just go to your plugins folder and after that to the essentials folder that has been created after restarting your server with essentials X inside of your plugins folder. Just go to the essentials folder and after that to config. Now this is just the general config file of essentials X. It is not solely for the economy or the money. This is just general essentials X. But there's actually a part of this config file that is solely for the money. But first let's scroll down a little bit and I'm gonna change, uh, where is it? Here it is, enable signs. So these are actually essential signs that you can enable. By default they're all disabled. But if you want to enable are for example the buy sign, the sell sign, um, the balance sign maybe, trade and free. There we go. So now we're actually able to make buy and sell signs inside the server. Also trade signs, free signs and balance signs. Seems good. Let's scroll further down until we hit the economy section of the essentials config. Here we go. Economy. Now there's not the last you will actually have to change under 
another economy section. There are a few things though that I think could be useful. First of all, the starting balance. With how much money do you want people to start on the server? So they join for the very first time. How much money do they have? Now by default, that's zero. You can set it to 100, for example. So let's make it 100. Now, if people join the server for the very first time, they will start with $100. Now, a little bit lower over here, you can see the currency symbol. Right now, it's just a dollar sign. If you want to change the currency symbol, you can do that here. So, for example, if you live in Europe and you want it to be Euro, then you can change it to Euro. Now, a little bit lower, you have the maximum amount of money. This is the maximum amount of money you want people to be able to have in your server. You can change it. I don't know why you would. Just leave it on max, I guess. Or just remove a few zeros. It doesn't really matter. It's that much. Probably nobody will hit the maximum anyway. So, uh... Yeah, just change it however you like. And beneath that, you have the minimum amount of money. And this is something that I would actually change. I've changed it on my own server. So by default, if a new player joins, they actually have zero dollars. Now, if you leave this as it is, then people can actually go beneath zero. So they can actually have death in the server. They can have a negative amount of money. Now, I don't want this on my server. So I just put this to zero. There we go. Now people are not able to have a negative amount of money. They can go beneath zero. If they have zero dollars, they just can buy a thing they want to buy. If you want people to be able to go in the negatives though, you can just leave this as it is. For the rest, it doesn't really seem like there's much to change. You might want to change the minimum pay amount. So right now, the minimum amount that people can pay for something is 0.001. So in theory, Somebody could sell an item for 0.001 cents, I guess. I mean, it's not even one cent. It's like one one hundredth of one cent. So if you want, you can just remove one zero. Now it will be one cent. Or you can add some zeros and people will be able to sell and buy stuff for incredibly small amounts of money. For me, I'm just going to keep it at one cent. Now save your config file, restart your server and let's hop back in the game. So we're back in game. Let's talk a little bit more about how people are able to obtain money and how people are able to spend it. So the way you want your people to be able to earn money and the way you want your people to be able to spend money is fully up to you. Completely. There are so many ways to do it. I mean, literally endless ways. You could make mini games on the server and as a reward, they would get money. You can make a general server shop that sells and buys items. So the way I would see it in my head is that, for example, a stack of dirt, you will be able to buy it for $1. Now you will be able to sell a stack of dirt for, let's say, 25 cents. Like that, if you sell four stacks of dirt, you would obtain $1. Now you can use that $1 to buy something else in the shop. Now the way that would work is you just place an item frame for example with uh, some dirt in the middle. Uh, there we go, looks great. Now beneath that you can make a sell sign. So sell one stack which is 64 dirt for um 0 0.25. There we go. Now I can sell a stack of dirt for 25 cents. Then make a buy sign above it. Dirt for one. There we go. So if I would have four stacks of dirt like this, then I could sell them. And now I've sold four stacks of dirt, which means I obtained four times 25 cents. If I type slash money, you can see that I have one dollar now. So that means I can buy a stack of dirt. Now you can do this with many, many items. You could have a general shop that has like tons of items. Just basic items like dirt and stone, but also very rare items like a nether star. They could all have a different value. They could all have a different buy and selling price. And like that, you can kind of create an economy yourself. Could be really nice, but it can take a really long time. I mean, you would have to set a price for every single item you put in the shop. And what items do you put in the shop? Every single item? That's a lot. So what we did on the Starcraft servers, we actually made player shops. So people can buy a plot at spawn, they can actually create their own shops on there and sell whatever they want. Now the way that works is we actually made one sign at spawn. We made a sign that sells one diamond for one dollar. So a single sign, we just put it at spawn, sell one diamond for one. There we go. So now if I would have myself a diamond and I would click on this sign, I would actually sell the diamond and one dollar would go to my account. Now this sign in my server, Circuit SMP, is the only sign that can actually transfer an item 
to money. So this is the only way to get money into your system. Which means that diamonds are the currency on StarCraft. I mean dollars is still the currency of course. You're transferring diamonds to dollars. But at the end of the day every single dollar is worth exactly one diamond. So this is where we base our full player shops on. Every single dollar is one diamond. Every diamond is one dollar. So if somebody's making a player shop and in their player shop they're selling 64 dirt for example for one dollar then you have to ask yourself the question is 64 dirt does it have the same value as a single diamond now that's an interesting question now in Starcraft, you can actually see this happen so here we are inside of Starcraft smp let's go to the spawn here you can actually see the buy and the sell sign. Here the currency used is diamonds, transferred into dollars here. If you click on this sell sign, your diamonds will become dollars. If you click on this sign, your dollars will become diamonds again. Now if you go to some shops here at spawn, you will actually see that most things will be sold for a single diamond, a single dollar. So revamp is selling 32 shurikane for a single diamond. He's also selling 32 eggs for a single diamond. He's selling 64 pumpkins for a single diamond. Most things here at spawn will be sold for one diamond. The only thing that differs is the amount per item. So in this case, Revamp thinks that 32 shurikane is worth just as much as one diamond. 64 pumpkins are worth just as much as one diamond. For him at least, for revamp. 15 emeralds are for some reason worth as much as a single diamond. I don't think that's true, doesn't matter. Here you also have a good example, Brittle is selling 64 cobblestone for 13 cents. So that would mean for a full dia you get more than 490 blocks of cobblestone. That's how the economy of Starcraft works. Now besides general shops and player shops, they're like I said, many more ways how you can make people earn money and how you can make people spend money. You can make quests on your server. You can make mini games on your server. That as a reward, they will get money. You can make them trade in diamonds for money. You can just make a general shop where an item can be sold and bought at the same time. Be creative, do whatever you want with it, but make sure it's reliable for the long term. So the reason we actually chose diamonds on StarCraft and not any other block or item is because diamonds are pretty reliable. You can find diamonds inside the ground, but there are not that many other ways how you can actually find diamonds. Like you can find them in chests, of course, but there's no way to make a very quick and easy diamond farm. That is the case with iron though. So if we would have chosen to make iron the currency, then of course the prices in the player shops would become a lot higher, but also people could make iron farms. Now when players are late game, tons of players will actually have iron farms. So the value of iron would go down significantly. Now if the value of iron will go down, then the prices in the shops will only go up, and new players who would join would not be able to buy anything until late game. And the diamonds are very sustainable. If you are early on in the game or late game, they're just as hard to find. There's no way to make an actual diamond farm, and of course if you have fortune or efficiency, then you will be able to get them faster, and there isn't a way to farm them quickly, making it very good currency. And that is basically how you add money to your Minecraft server. Installing Essentials X is enough for people to be able to have money. I mean, by installing Essentials X, they will have their own bank account, they can have a balance, they can have money. And it's up to the server owner to make a way that people can earn and spend it. I've gave you some examples, I showed you how you do it on my own Minecraft server. And now, be creative and make an economy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, not subscribed yet, and you're enjoying the content, make sure to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. You would really help me out by doing that. You actually would. And then, it's over now. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.